What is up you guys, this is All Day Any Day 1 on the PS4 and I'm going to be giving you another Assassin's Creed Odyssey video. So in this video I'm going to be going over how to get the Pilgrim set and what the Pilgrim set gives and does. So here's what the Pilgrim set looks like or what it does basically. I'm going to explain what it does first and what the perks have and whatnot. And then I'll show you each location. So for the hood you get 15% damage with daggers and then the gloves you get 15% adrenaline per hit. For the torso or the body, you get 25% adrenaline on assassination kill. The waist, you get 25 another 25% adrenaline on assassination kill. And then the boots, you get 20% movement speed while crouching. And then for the pilgrim set, you get minus 40% adrenaline consumed by Shadow of Nyx ability. The Shadow of Nyx ability, when it's fully maxed out, this is what it does. While out of conflict, become as invisible as a, sh as a shadow. Moving or aiming a bow will not cause exposure, but attacking or colliding with a target adrenaline will. Adrenaline is consumed slowly over time. So that right there already to me is really good. And this is what the actual set looks like on a female or on Cassandra. It looks the same pretty much on um, Alexios from front to back. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you each location starting from with the waist. So the waist is going to be located in Malice which is on the right side of Focus and the left side of Macedonia. And Malice it's going to, once you're inside Malice it's going to be in Pandora's Cove. So out of the two, Bay of Xerxes and Pandora's Cove is going to be here. And then once you're in Pandora's Cove it's going to be at the Temple of the Golden Bowed Goddess which is right next to a synchronization location which is Ruinous of Artemis. So once you go here, you'll be able to loot both the ancient tablet as well as the treasure and you'll be able to kill one of the huntresses. Alright, so up next is Attica. So Attica is located below Boetia and Euboea. It's on the left side of Chaos and on the right side of Megadus and Corinthia. So once you go into Attica, you're going to end up going on the northern part of it and go a little to the left and then you'll go to the Sacred Plain of Demeter. So once you're at the Sacred Plain of Demeter, kind of in the middle of it is you're going to see Eleusius Telesterion. Eleusius Telesterion. And then you're going to go to the Sanctuary of Eleusius. But it's going to be, the one treasure is going to be located at Eleusius Telesterion. And there's no enemies, I believe there's no enemies. So all you have to do is just walk in and then you'll be able to pick up your hood. So the next one you're going to be going for is the gloves. So the gloves is located in Argolis and Argolis is on the bottom of Corinthia, left of Arcadia and kind of on the right of Attica. And once you're in Argolis, you're going to go straight into Argos, which is the main city. And once you're in Argos, you're going to go to the right or the left side of Argos at Acropolis of Argos. You don't need to worry about killing anyone. You can, but if you want, you could just go ahead and go in and take the loot treasure. The, this specific treasure is going to be located upstairs though, so once you go inside the building, it's going to be upstairs and then you'll be able to find it pretty easily. And now for the chest piece, you're going to end up going down to Laconia. And Laconia is on the right side of Messenia, under Arcadia, and above Cytheria. A lot of Aeas, but uh, once you're in Laconia, you're going to go to Sparta. And once you go into Sparta, you're going to go to the left side, upper left, and you're going to see Temple of Athena. And when you get to a Temple of Athena, there's going to be a few enemies around, but it won't be too much. So once you get in there, just pick up your treasure or kill the enemies and then pick up your treasure and then go ahead and dip out. The last one, which is going to be for your boots, is going to be located in Masara. So it's going to be on the very far left on the upper part right up here. So once you're in Masada, you're going to end up going to Little Egypt. And then once you're in Little Egypt, it's right up, just pretty much straight from the middle. You're going to go to Temple of Brito Martis. And there's going to be, again, there's going to be a few enemies surrounding this chest. But you can just go ahead and pick it up and you'll be good. So that's pretty much it for this video. If this helped you out at all, go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions or concerns, let me know down in the comment section as well. Also, do keep in mind that if you do plan on going for these at a very low level, then I would highly recommend making sure you do go into meditation mode, which all you have to do is just use your touchpad. If you're on the PlayStation, I don't know what the meditation mode is for Xbox One or PC, but all you have to do is just use meditation mode. 
and then it'll go to nighttime and when it's nighttime the enemies will be asleep most of the enemies will be asleep so you could just sneak right on by and collect the treasure collect the loot and then just get out if you i mean that is again if you're too low of a level also keep in mind if you are too low of a level i believe the gear at the very least is at level 36 so that means you won't be able to wear it but you will be able to actually obtain that engrave perk though so that's pretty much it for this video. Like I said, if this helped you at all, go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know. This is all day and day one on the PS4. Have a good day, good night, and peace.